let's do another example, one last example that's similar to that one. So, suppose that the weight in pounds of a college-age man, or college-age men, is a normal random variable with a standard deviation of sigma equals 20. Okay, so we know it's normal, we know standard deviation equals 20. If 5% of the population is heavier than 212 pounds, what is the mean of this distribution? Okay, we have a normal distribution, we have some probabilities, and we want a mean. So whenever you see normal probability or normal random variable, just start by sketching it. Even if you're not 100% sure that's the type of problem it is, it's a good idea to start there. Oops, sorry. So first we sketch. Okay. So in this case, we don't actually know what our mean is, so we're just going to put question mark. But we do know that 5%, only 5% is heavier than this 212, so it must be up here somewhere. So we have 0 0.05, right, 5%, and we know that standard deviation is 20, and mean is what we're solving for. Okay. So we see that we do have the area and the, the curve, we do have the probability, so that means our next step is to look up the z-score. Okay, so we're going to look it up using calculator. So we'll say inverse norm, and remember we just want to put the area that's below this value. So you actually can put it as an equation into inverse norm. So I'll just say 1 minus 0 0.05, right? So we don't know what's below it, but it's 1 minus that. And we see that that is, whoop. Okay, so we go second bars, inverse norm, and we put in 1 minus 0 0.05, and that is 1.64. And if this was a multiple choice test, you might want to have more decimal points so you can discern between two answers, but for here, two decimal points is fine. Okay, so our z-score is 1.64, and then our last step is to solve for, well, whatever we need to solve for. In this case, we're going to solve for mu. Okay, so we know that z equals x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Um, so that means we know that z, which is 1.64, <coughs> equals x, which is 212, minus the mean, which we don't know, divided by the standard deviation, which we know is 20. So we're going to multiply 20 both sides. So we have 1.64 times 20, 32.8. equals 212 minus the mean, so we have uh, the mean plus 32.8 equals 212, subtract that from both sides, so that means that the mean is just 212 minus 32.8 which equals 179.2. So we know that if our probability of being um, greater than 212 is 5% and the standard deviation is 20, we can back solve and find that the mean of these college-aged men is 179.2 pounds. Well, thank you for visiting educator.com. Hope to see you for the next lesson.